हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स ऑन फाइंडिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो लेट एस प्रोसीड विथ आवर एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन हियर क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वन माइनस कॉस्टी ओवर टी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी गाइज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एग्जाम्पल ऑन फाइंडिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन माइनस कॉस्टी अपॉन टी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यूजिंग दैट लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म यू कैन प्रोसीड फॉर फाइंडिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरीवेटिव ऑफ वन माइनस कॉस्टी अपॉन टी और लेट मी शो यू दी सेम आंसर वंस अगेन फॉर फाइंडिंग लैपलास ऑफ वन माइनस कॉस्टी अपॉन टी so we begin by considering f of t as 1 minus cos t we will first find its laplace transform according to linearity property this can be written as laplace of 1 minus laplace of cos t now let us recall formulas for laplace of 1 and laplace of cos at we know laplace of 1 is 1 by s and laplace of cos at is s upon s square plus a square in this particular case a is 1 So Laplace of one is one by s, and Laplace of cos t is s upon s square plus one. We call this function as phi of s. Now we proceed to find out Laplace of one minus cos t upon t. For that, recall the Laplace transform of function of t when divided by t. So Laplace transform of one by t into f of t is nothing but integral of phi of s ds over the limit s to infinity where phi of s is laplace transform of this f of t and in this particular case f of t is 1 minus cos t so we are going to use its laplace transform over here so i write this formula over here it is integral of phi of s ds over the limit s to infinity and this phi of s is nothing but 1 by s minus s upon s square plus 1 now let us evaluate this integral for that i will recall integral calculus formula which says integral of f dash x upon f of x dx that is derivative of f of x upon f of x it is equal to log of denominator that is f of x so in this particular case derivative of s is 1 so laplace of 1 by s is in this particular case derivative of s is 1 so integral of 1 by s is log s similarly derivative of s square plus 1 is 2s but 2 is missing over here so we will multiply and divide it by 2 to get integral of s upon s square plus 1 as half log of s square plus 1 over the limit s to infinity now i wanted to take out this half common outside but i do not see half here so what i will do i will multiply and divide it by 2 so we will have 2 by 2 log s so this 2 log s can be written as log of s square using property of log which says a log b is log b raised to a so we will left here with half log s square like this rest of the terms remains as it is now you can easily take out this half in this way then we will left with log of s square minus log of s square plus 1 using log property which says log a minus log b is equal to log a by b we can write this as log of s square upon s square plus 1 now if i try to substitute this upper limit infinity in s i will get infinity upon infinity form which cannot be evaluated easily so what we will do we will multiply numerator and denominator by term 1 by s square so by doing so we will have s square upon s square that is 1 in the numerator and in denominator we will have s square upon s square that is 1 plus 1 by s square now when i substitute infinity in s this becomes 1 by infinity and what is 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0 so we will left with only log 1 after substituting the upper limit infinity here now when we substitute the lower limit s in s this term remains as it is that is log of 1 upon 1 plus 1 by s square when you simplify this it will become log of 
a square upon a square plus 1 and we know that log of 1 is 0 so this term becomes 0 and we also know that minus of log of a by b is log of b by a so I can write this term as this one as log of a square plus 1 upon a square so this eliminates that minus sign so this is Laplace transform of 1 minus cos t upon t now we proceed to find out Laplace transform of derivative of 1 minus cos t upon t for that first we recall formula for Laplace transform of derivative of f of t which says Laplace transform of derivative of f of t is equal to minus f of 0 plus s into phi of s where phi of s is Laplace transform of f of t and in this particular case what is f of t let me first write this formula this will be minus f of 0 plus phi of s and what is f of t in this case in this case 1 minus cos t upon t is f of t so let us substitute 0 for t to get f of 0 so here we found f of 0 is 1 minus cos 0 upon 0 cos 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 upon 0 so we get 0 by 0 this is an indeterminate form to obtain its value we will take limit of t tends to 0 so we see limit of f of t as t tends to 0 is limit of 1 minus cos t upon t as t tends to 0 using L'Hopital's rule that is differentiating numerator and denominator separately we can write this as limit of 0 minus derivative of cos t is minus sin t so minus minus plus so we have sin t upon derivative of t is 1 now you substitute t equal to 0 in this we get sin 0 upon 1 and how much is sin 0 it is 0 yes correct so what is f of 0 f of 0 is 0 now we substitute value of f of 0 in this formula and phi of s here we get laplace of derivative of 1 minus cos t upon t which is equal to 0 plus s into phi of s we have already derived it is half log of s square plus 1 upon s square I hope guys you understood this example now let us proceed with next one here we are asked to find Laplace of derivative of e raised to 2t into sin t so let us first find out Laplace of e raised to 2t into sin t what is Laplace of sin t for that recall Laplace of sin a t it is a upon a square plus a square here a is 1 so Laplace of sin t is 1 upon a square plus 1 now using first shifting theorem you can easily find Laplace of e raised to 2t into sin t do you remember first shifting theorem it says Laplace of e raised to a t into f of t is phi of s minus a where phi of s is Laplace of f of t so this is our phi of s and in this phi of s we are going to replace every s by s minus a and what is a a is 2 so it is equal to 1 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 1 I hope you understood this now we consider this as phi of s and using this phi of s we will write Laplace of derivative of e raised to 2t into sin t according to formula of Laplace of derivative of f of t it is equal to minus f of 0 plus s into phi of s so I write formula over here in our case f of t is e raised to 2t into sin t so let us first find out f of 0 from it substituting t equal to 0 we get e raised to 0 into sin 0 e raised to 0 is 1 but sin 0 is 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 so we get f of 0 is equal to 0 we substitute 0 over here and we substitute phi of s is equal to this term over here so we get Laplace of derivative of e raised to 2t into sin t as s into 1 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 1 I hope guys you understood this easy example as well ok then it is your turn to solve some examples below are some practice examples 
I have written their final solutions as well so that you can tally your answers. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. Please also mention the difficulty level of these examples. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video among your friends. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.